Boom, Rampage. Boom, toasted that Favner. What is going on, guys? We're going to load up four Mark III Thunders, three overdrives on the good old behemoth. And let's see what these four Mark III Thunders can do. I'm hoping they deal a lot of damage, but who really knows what's going to happen here. So let's jump into a game on Beacon Rush. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess we should just drop in. We're dropping in right away in our Thunder. And man, Thunder are outdated big time in the game we do have some pilot skills loaded up though increased shot grouping increased damage and our overdrive if we can get them triggered okay so that's a shell bot that's probably like the toughest robot for us to take out honestly because probably just gonna bum rush us and then i guess we have no choice oh uh, we're, we're already suppressed this Hiroshi thinks we're an easy target. Hopefully we can kill him. Uh-oh. Why is, why is the Shellbot coming over here, man? Get away from me. Shoot my teammates somewhere else. Okay, come on. Okay, boom. There's one kill. Boom. All right, double kill. Double kill. Our overdrive did get triggered there, but we're going to probably heal up with our pilot healing. Uh-oh, this is a bad spot. They're all dropping in at center. We're just going to kind of grind this out and hope to get on the kill streak. Okay, that leech activated his ability, but we took out like half his health before he could even trigger his ability. Oh, man, our health is getting low. No. Oh. Okay, there. Triple kill, triple kill. We're going to die. Rampage. Oh, okay, we got a rampage, but we did die. So, or the other way around. We did die, but we got a rampage. That actually wasn't that bad. Considering the spot we were in, I thought we were going to get, like, you know, a double kill, then get taken out. But <laughs> I feel like all those enemies underestimated, underestimated us, and we just kind of smoked, like, four robots. But, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, this isn't good. This isn't good. That was poor play. I can't believe we just did that. Um, okay. There goes our Oroshi. So hopefully we don't have to beacon run later in this game. Because we just blew away our chance for beacon running. Okay, looks like there's a lot of enemies at the center beacon. Looks like we're kind of pushing forward here. So let's give it a try. Hit this Fenrir. Four Typhons. Okay, this guy phase shifted, so we did lose the center beacon. We have it now. We have it now. Wait for his last stand. Boom. Kill. There we go. Yeah, and early on thoughts. Like, this is my first game running that Thunder build. And the Thunders just seem to fire very slow. Even with the increased shot grouping, it seems like they just don't fire very accurately at a range or up close. So then to deal real damage, you have to be within like 50 meters of the enemy. So that's a bigger disadvantage. And they probably don't do enough damage to begin with per shot. So yeah, and those are Mark III Thunders with pilot skills and overdrive. So, I mean with the overdrive, like I've said before, any weapon can really be good with the triple overdrive. But, Pixonic buff the Thunders. I wish one day Pixonic just asked for my advice on what robots and weapons to buff. And I would just give them a whole list of things. And that would make me very happy. Because some weapons just kind of die off in the game, and it didn't. It doesn't really make much sense why. Because it's not really like they got replaced by the same version of the weapon. They're they're just completely different weapons. Like the Thunders are not like the Devastators, not like the Glories, not like the Avengers. They're all different, but they need to all be pretty balanced. 
Okay, enemies are pushing beacons pretty hard in this game, so we're gonna try to grab this beacon over here. And notice we do have a paralysis drone here, so that's giving us more lockdown. Okay, we're grabbing this beacon. The Typhon Shield, you can see it's only 64,000, which isn't very much. But I've found that it's always been useful to stop like incoming charges, whether it's from like, you know, a Riker or a Nightingale or an enemy Typhon. Okay, last hand triggered. Now let's shoot this guy well. Uh oh. Boom, kill. Ooh, bit of lag there, but we got the double kill. There we go. There we go. Here we go. Beacon bars are pretty close right now, I have to say. Hit that Minos. Uh oh. Ooh, that Almin's gonna chew us apart up here. Get to get to the chopper. We don't know where the chopper is. If we get 500. 500, 500, boom, hit him. Okay, now let's drop down. We've been in this Typhon for a while, so probably let's, let's ditch this thing and get in something else. And it's okay we, if we die here. Boom. Typically, you want to balance your hangar so you have, you know, some speed robots, maybe some Titan killers, some heavy brawlers. So you never really want to stay in one robot too long unless it's, I don't know, it's really overperforming. Because you kind of need that balance. Like, the, the enemy team is dropping in their Titans now, so it might be a good idea for me to drop in my Titan. Like, this Ao Ming up there. Ah, oh, we couldn't quite kill him, but... <laughs> oh, we, we weren't even locked onto that... Minos, but we still killed him. We still toasted him up. Here we go. Ah. Oh, the stupid shield. I was like, why are my shots not landing? It's because of the Demeter shield in front of me. Oh, these are the biggest problem with Grom. The shot grouping. If you're over, like, you know, 200 meters away is not good. We're taking a lot of damage here from normal robots. It's always so depressing when you get taken out by like just a group of regular robots and not Titans when you're in a Titan. The worst feeling in the world. Whoa! This is an Arthur. Oh, he just put up his shield in time. Okay, I don't know if we can take him out though, because he has his shield up or is it broken? Oh, look at the scoreboard. That's funny. We He killed us, but then it says that we killed him after he killed us. It was probably like we killed each other at the same time, but either way, we got the kill. We went out on our shield. Okay, two, just over two minutes to go here with our Hades. Enemy team might be mecking out. I guess we should just push up. The Hades actually doesn't have too bad a speed here. Yeah, it looks like the enemy team does have three players left, so that definitely favors us. 5v3. Oh, he's healing. Corrode him a little bit. What is this? He's got a shield and... Whoa! Whoa! Boom. Alright. Double kill. What is that? A scorpion? Scorpion? Alright. I think that's going to wrap up the game, honestly. We gained another player. So now we have five. Yeah. 5v1. Five I think we're good. I think we are good. So that's going to wrap it up. Man, that behemoth thunder kill streak at the beginning. It was quick, but it was honestly kind of effective too because we did get a rampage. Didn't last very long. Let's see what kind of damage we did. I'm going to say it's not bad damage. Not bad damage. 3.8 million, two beacons, not bad. 
Not bad, not bad, nothing too crazy. Alright guys, so pretty much how it goes is, first of all, check out the speed that I have with this behemoth right now. Look how fast this thing is. So this is with the uh, legendary pilot, and then this Hiroshi is trying to beef us up close. And then we gotta wait for him. Boom, triggered his last stand. And now he's in his ability, so then we wait for it, wait for it. Just keep firing. Boom, there we go, killed him. And that's kind of how you have to play this build. If you're using it, I mean, I don't think a lot of players are going to be using this um, this build for very obvious reasons, because it's a very difficult to use. And what is that? Is it a Roshi there? So like I said, I have some of the pilot speed skills, but with the, this Behemoth Legendary Pilot, we get an increase of, I think it is 20, the Andre, what is it, the Andre Vasov? Kasov? Uh, Legendary Pilot gives us... 20% more speed when we're walking around. So that's why we're so boosted up with speed right now. But overall, man, it's hard to argue that the Thunder do not need an, a buff. I mean, I think you guys can agree with me. These things, compared to the Devastator, even compared to the Glory and other heavy weapons, these things are light years behind. And the only reason I was able to get any sort of kill streak going was really just because of the you know, the insane overdrive damage increase. Oh, what is that, a Hellburner? But yeah, they don't fire very quickly. They don't group shots well over even like 200 meters, which is pretty close. They probably don't do enough damage. So many things, so many problems. But this was a kill streak that I was getting on Valley Map here. So you can see I backed off. Kind of stay away from that range of the shell bot. Ah! And once you get those overdrive triggered, you have to make sure you don't lose too much health. That's why it would be so risky to run like triple overdrive builds in like actual clan or squad battles. Like that would be a pretty dumb idea, honestly, because the risk versus reward is not worth it. Because weapons typically do enough damage these days anyways. You don't need 75% more damage from overdrives. I was trying to set up... I'm, I'm using this valley, this obviously this structure, just because I can hide under it if flying robots attack me. Boom, rampage. Boom, toasted that Favner. See, that's the thunder at its best. That reminds me of the old thunder they could definitely use a bit more juice all right guys that's gonna wrap up the video though so that was the behemoth quad thunder man i tried to use it even look at two thunders right here that's just two thunders and that was pretty good damage but thanks for watching the video guys until next time peace behemoth thunder do you guys think they need a buff because i do for sure until next time peace see you guys next video live streams coming soon